this saw is practically unusable for the job used to be and it is not junk in my opinion it is very valuable piece of material because it is very high quality high speed steel material which can be mined into small cutting tools for the light and that's what I'm going to, to do now I already cut a piece out of that other, other saw, broken saw I'm just gonna cut another piece out of this other saw which I did before you cut that So that one is hot and I cannot hold that so I'm going to use another piece which is cold which I cut already previously just cut small piece out of it like this and this is just about ready piece of steel for Another. This particular one is a broken which I used previously and this is how I usually do. I just smite them like this, weld this on with stainless steel elect arc welding rod and it's not going to break, it is good and you just sharpen the way you want. I also when you put that in a tool holding post, I put that slightly on an angle like this and also slightly on an angle like this. I only need to sharpen this side to make the angle of cutting. This might not look very professional, but it does the job, and it's free, with a little bit of effort, work, and it does really good job. So what I usually do, I make them the right height as I make them, and just resharpen. If it's not right height, I just, in my machine, if it is higher, I just grind that little. So it's too high, so it's the best hand there, too high. I just grind that down. Hundred there would be approximately about that much. So what I do, I just grind that just to make, to indicate how far I need to grind down. So I grind that. Seventeen is supposed to be six seventy, so another forty tier to grind off, and that would be the right height for the job. Now I actually grind that. I grind that on an angle, so as I need to reshop the same tool again, then it is slightly higher. So each time I grind, it will become slightly lower. So therefore, I will have 
quite a lot of time, many, many times I can grind it. Just take another measurement. Six seventy five. So just a slightly more brush. But you can also break any kind of tool, even professional, good, the most expensive one. So This is it, that's one cutting, and that's the tool I was showing you. So, as I said before, this side does not need to be sharpened or resharpened, only this side because the right, it is right angle, which, which is approximately 5 degrees, so as this angle I just sharpened that the way I need or the way I want and this is it let's do the welding this is 316 L welding rod which is very good quality welding rod uh, for stainless steel and stainless steel welding when you well, hard material like high-speed steel or high-carbon material, it is always easier and safer to use stainless steel welding rod because they would not crack and would hold a lot better. This is the pieces I used before. I'm going to chop this off, break this off, and weld onto previously broken piece. What I'm going to use, this is slightly an angle, I'm going to, the right height is actually similar to the height of that material, thickness of that material, I would make that slightly higher, but I would also make that right angle, as I mentioned before, and And what I do, I usually tack weld a little bit. Yeah. I'm gonna check the height of that if it's not sorry and my wants to embarrass me a bit. I don't really care a bit. Now what I did it's a wrong angle. So I should weld this on on this angle because this is harder to grind. This is free side and so I just need to re-weld that again. This is it. Still hot, need to wait a little time to cool that down. It's not good to cool that straight into the water now because sometimes when you weld high carbon material or and and high speed steel it could crack near the where the weld is. 
so therefore we just need to be cooled down slowly naturally without using any extra cooling 